It's 2023, a new thru-hiking season has begun and I'm sure a lot of the new thru-hikers are doing some research about the different gear that they need. One of the things that was really confusing to me when I did my research about thru-hiking was clothing and all the different layers. And so today I want to try to simplify this as much as possible and talk about the different options that you have to wear on your thru-hike. First things first, we start with a base layer, which can be just a t-shirt. Then we add a mid layer, which is usually a hoodie made out of either fleece, wool or alpaca material to protect you from the elements while hiking. And lastly, if the weather requires, we add something called an outer shell, such as a rain or a wind jacket to protect you from the elements. And that's really it when it comes to the different layers and their names. However, as you do further research, you come across terms such as merino wool, alpaca or fleece. And the confusion increases further, at least it did for me. So let's talk about the different material and how they can benefit or be a little bit of a challenge for you as you do your through hike or your hike in general. Before we start addressing the different materials that you can use for your hiking clothing, we do need to address cotton. Cotton, there's a famous term in the hiking community, which is cotton kills, right? So what does that mean? Cotton does retain water long term. It is not quick drying. And therefore, when you're in an environment that's cold and rainy, it would be a bad idea to wear cotton because your clothes will get wet and then they will not dry and you are at risk to getting hypothermia. So when it comes to the t-shirt or the base layer, it's usually made out of some sort of polyester just because you need something that is quick drying as well as something that is rather lightweight. So usually with base layers, we're using that kind of material. The mid layers are a little bit more confusing. People talk about a fleece hoodie or something called a puffy. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is a hoodie. So you can get a mid layer, a hoodie. Generally, it's recommended to have a hoodie so that you can have something over your head in case it does get very cold. And so you can choose to get a hoodie with fleece. What is fleece? Fleece is a man-made synthetic. It is often polyester mixed with some spandex for elasticity. The big pros when it comes to fleece is that it's usually cheaper it is also more durable than the other two materials. One of the things that is a con is that it does retain smell a little bit quicker than wool or alpaca. The other con is that if you're near a fire, it can singe or burn quicker than the other material just because it is made out of plastic essentially, right? And then of course, for those that are really, really concerned about the environment, fleece, is made out of plastic, so therefore it can be detrimental to the environment. Because fleece has less breathability than other materials, it often uses a grid-like pattern with channels in the fabric that allow heat and moisture to escape better than fleece without grid. The other choice that you have when it comes to your mid-layer is either merino wool or alpaca. Now, merino wool is a natural fiber that comes from sheep, and alpaca comes from, you guessed it, alpaca. Merino wool is often used for base layers as well because it is moisture wicking as well as it does not retain the smell as easily as synthetics or cotton, which don't wear cotton. The big pro when it comes to wool or alpaca is its breathability when damp and therefore it is often preferred for base layers as well because of that particular benefit. It does resist odor a lot better than synthetics. The cons when it comes to merino wool or alpaca is that it is a lot more expensive than synthetics such as fleece, as well as it's a lot less durable than like a fleece. So that's it when it comes to mid layers that you use while hiking. You do want it to have a good breathability just because you do start to sweat when you hike. No matter how cold it is outside, it is something that will happen. There's one more term that you'll come across when it comes to mid layers or clothing that keep you warm while hiking and that's called a puffy. Now a puffy is usually not used while hiking just because of 
how hot you can get while wearing a puffy. A puffy is either synthetic or it is filled with down feathers. And so most people use a puffy either when at camp or when they're sleeping, essentially when you're no longer moving any further. The reason why is because, first of all, you do get really warm, but also down feathers in particular lose their insulation properties when you get wet. So that's either through rain or through sweat. And it is really not a benefit to wear a puffy when it loses its insulation properties. The other thing to keep in mind is that the outer layer of the puffy usually is made out of very sensitive material. As you see, I had to repair my sleeve a few times. So that's really it when it comes to the different layers, especially with regard to the top half of your body. You might wonder, what about the bottom half of my body? Super simple, you either wear some shorts or a pair of pants, depending on what temperature it is outside. Some people do line their pants with some fleece, as in they're not personally doing it, but it comes lined with some fleece. And that's what I did. I had some leggings that had a little bit of fleece lining in the inside just to keep me a little extra warm. And that really worked for me. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped. If you do have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. I love answering any questions about gear. Most of us really love gear and I'm no different. So thank you so much. Have a wonderful day.